What's up YouTube? This is GeForce from Bioside Gaming. This is a video on my thought process for my new computer build. I consider the Intel 13700K and the AMD 7700X since I was using this computer for gaming and editing. The new system would need to meet both needs. The 13700K has 16 cores and DDR5 memory was stable with lower overall temperatures compared to the 7700X which only has 8 cores and memory stability issues along with higher temperatures. I decided to go with the Intel 13700K because of the memory and the temperature issues. I paired that with 32GB of Corsair Vengeance 5600 DDR5 RAM, put that on an Asus Republic of Gamers Strix X790A Wi-Fi motherboard, I add an Arctic Liquid 2 240mm RGB AIO CPU cooler, and I kept my Sapphire Pulse 5700 XT 8GB video card for now as I'm waiting for a better alternative to come out in the near future. I need a lot of storage, and Samsung 980 Pro 2TB M.2 NVMe times uh, 2 seems to give me that, along with two crucial MX500 4TB SSDs and one Western Digital Black 7200 RPM 10TB hard drive for more storage because video needs a lot of storage and now I have it. I built the system in a Fractal Pop RGB Air mid tower case for three reasons. It has two five and a quarter bays for my Blu-ray burner, ease of installation, and the size allows for larger video cards. So when I find that video card I'm looking for, it will fit in this case. My pass mark score was 10,381.4, which puts the system in the 99th percentile. The CPU, the 2D graphics mark, and the disk mark were 99th percentile, while the 3D and memory were only in the 93rd percentile. I compared the CPU mark score with a 7950X with a fellow Bioside member, McLaren L. And it came out to 61672 versus my 46613. Although this isn't a direct comparison in class or cost, it just gives you an idea of what the difference is between the two processors. Running the benchmark in Rainbow Six Siege, I achieved 256 frames per second. That's 100 frames more than my previous system using the same video card. Overall, I'm pretty happy with my choice of the Intel i7 13700K processor. I was initially going to go with another AMD processor and I really wanted another AMD video card, but at that point when I had to make a decision to deal with the memory issues and the heat, I really didn't want to deal with that, so I went with the 13700K, which has been performing really well in a lot of the games, especially the CPU-driven ones like Siege. I'm getting really good performance in a lot of the games that I'm playing. And my video rendering is a lot faster than it used to be, so it'll make editing videos in the future a lot more enjoyable. And as far as waiting out for the new video cards that are coming out, I'm looking for something like in the mid-range, like particularly possibly an AMD 7800 XT that might give me the frames that I'm looking for and the performance in that uh, sweet spot. So overall, I just wanted to share this build with you and let you know what went through my head as far as choosing between, again, AMD and Intel. Last time I went with AMD, this time I'm going with Intel. And just to give you a little insight on how the rig was built. For now, thanks for watching. This is GeForce from Bioside Gaming, signing look off. Look at that. Oh, look at that. MVP!